Hey guys, well I got a day to come out and work on the 37. Now you might remember where we left off. I had put the fuel cell in, I needed to make some aluminum tabs for the mounts in the front, do some pretty sheet metal pieces to cover it up, make it all look good. Well, anytime you change a piece you're using mid-build, there's a domino effect of other issues that you got to do with it. Now, you might notice when I mounted the tank, I turned it around backwards. I think Nathan mentioned it, talked about it, and the reason that the sump is facing forward and not back is because there's a cross member in the back of the frame. It's a two by three quarter inch wall tubing that actually ties the two frame rails together. In order for me to turn the sump where I needed to get it and close the hatch, I was going to have to cut a large amount, almost all of that through. Now, one, that would weaken it. Two, that would put my fuel lines about that far off the ground, so I didn't really want to do that. So, I mount the tank backwards. Now, the only time this would give us a major problem is if I was launching this car and the fuel was coming away from the pickup. If I got at least a half a tank in it, it's not going to be a problem. And I don't really see me launching this car. So, the other issue is now the ports are facing forward. There's another cross member. It's just a piece of one and a quarter roll cage tubing that's tied across the two frame rails. Now, I'm going to get on here in a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to need to make a new cross member. That way it'll clear the pickups and we can go from there. Good times. So this is the crossbar I was talking about. Now, the pickup is right here. Now, we can't take the bar up because it'll block the pickup. We can't go down because they're dragged to ground. So it's going to have to come this way. We're just going to have to make like an arch to weld in and cut out the center. That way we got room to get our 90 degree pickups up and out. Alright, I dug through all my scrap metal. I was able to find this one piece of tubing that's the same size as what's in there. Now we could create an arch, cut it out, weld in the arch, everything like that. But I got a different idea. I've got this C-channel. Now this came from a boat trailer I cut up, but it was good metal so I kept it. And what I'm thinking is we're going to take the C-channel, put it like this, so this side faces the fuel tank. We'll cut the top lip in order to leave room for the fuel lines to come out. We'll weld it in. Now that way when we're going down the road, any rocks, debris flying up hits this guy instead of smacking into our fittings on the fuel tank. Let's go ahead and cut the other one out and get this one in. Forgot the freaking gas. Alright, now that the cross member is all welded in, 
we need to put the tabs on the front of the gas tank. The reason we need to do that now is because we need to know where to weld the supports. If we were to bolt it in right now, it'd just be the sheet metal. So we need to get that done. Now the issue is, is I went to the metal place last week and picked up this really nice clean right angle aluminum, 6061 aluminum. And it's in my car. And my son was in a car accident this weekend. He's driving my car. So he's at work with my car with the mounts. So we're going to come up with another way to make some. Screw it. I'm going to run to a hardware store and see if I can get some aluminum flat stock to make some mounts with. Because trying to cut up these random pieces I have be way more work than just buying some flat strap and cutting it once so off to Home Depot for seven bucks well worth it instead of spending an hour sitting there trying to cut all those pieces straight so All right guys, I know that's not much of a video and I apologize, but I can tell you right now, that's over eight hours of work it took just to get that done. It's one of those days, man, in the garage where stuff just doesn't go right. It doesn't fit, you don't have this, it don't, it, ah, I hate days like this because you don't feel like you got anything done. But anyway, I thought I'd take a minute and talk to you about the channel. Look, I should have one more weekend going to California next weekend. All right, got to go build a patio on the house and it should be ready for sale. I'm hoping I'm done after that. Now, another thing's going on. My son had a lady pull out right in front of him, T-boned her at 45 miles an hour, destroyed their car, Pathfinder would drove home. But it's total, it's not an expensive car. Thank goodness he's okay. Walked away with a couple bruises, that's it. That's awesome. You know, for his first wreck, for him to walk away and without really being hurt, I'm really happy about that. But other than that, guys, pushing away. I promise I'm going to finish this car. I'm going to keep working on it. Just let me get through a few things and we'll be back on it full time every weekend. Get this car built and done. I got more things piling up in the backyard to be built. I got to get this one done. So, those of you that are sticking it out, watching all the videos, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye.